Alright, hey everyone, EPF Switch here, and today we're gonna begin the Rin route. So I have finished three routes already, and uh, basically uh, Amy's route first, followed by Hanako, and then Lily. And Lily is by far the longest route of the three I've played so far, probably the longest of all the routes, but we'll see. Anyway, now we're going with the Rin route. Now, Rin. I'm not so sure about Rin, she's an oddball, you know, but it'll probably be interesting. But I've heard good things about Rin's route as well, and it has something to do with art, so because, well, I know Rin's been, you know, uh, been working as an artist, you know, painting the walls and all that, so it's most definitely that she, she's going to be an artist in the future. But she's an oddball, very strange, and it's kind of funny talking to her. I mean, it's like, you know, talking to her is like talking something like talking to a wall like that. <laughs> okay, but anyway, as you can see, why am I in this on this screen? Uh, because this is basically the choice, you know, that decide. I think this is probably the choice that will decide whether you go with Lily or with Rin, I think. Yeah, so last time I chose Sorry, I'm not in very good condition, so that I will go with Lily, and then it will then lead to another choice. Which will determine whether you go with Lily or Hanako. So this time, probably I'm going to choose the other option, and then maybe I'll get to the Rin route. Who knows? So let's try it out and then see what goes on here. I don't really want to talk about it. Sorry, Lily. You've you've been the best girl, but now it's time to move on. <laughs> I. I'm fine. There's nothing to worry about. The hill is just surprisingly steep, don't you think? Oh man, what a way to say. I wonder what they have the school so high up here for anyway. Don't we have students in wheelchairs and everything? Well, that's some topic. <laughs> it's all... Indeed. Lily's forehead wrinkles in concern. And I don't really want her to have that kind of an expression over me. We barely know each other. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Not that you can find a place like this wherever, I guess. But it makes me wonder what they were thinking. <laughs> yeah, totally out of topic. My voice is overly calm. It sounds weird to my own new year, and I speak way too fast. I briefly wonder how much Lily can sense from someone's voice alone. Mm. Let's continue. We're almost there anyway. For the rest of the way back to the school, we all remain silent. Yeah, so that's it, you know? Very anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's see, I'm going to fast forward here and then see whether I'll be going for the rain route. Yeah? Okay. Alright, so this is probably the... Not yet the festival, so let's you know, go uh, fast forward. After about 10 minutes of restlessly shuffling in her seat and trying to read, Hanako closes her book and leaves too. Oh, this is... oh, okay. As should I, since the assignment is all but finished and there is nothing else to do in the classroom. Actually, I think this is the point where the Lily and or Hanako choice will trigger, but because I choose, you know, not to reveal things to Lily, so, you know, then Hanako just leaves like that and then you don't get either Lily or Hanako, probably. So I'm going with Rin. <laughs> so let's check it out. Not really feeling energetic, I just go straight to my room and read for the rest of the day. Oh, eh? It's kind of anticlimactic. Really very anti- very anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that- Okay, at least now we know that that choice that I made earlier, you know? That w was an important choice, you know, to determine if you're going with the Lily, with either the Lily or the Hanako route. Because if you make the wrong choice there, that's it. You get neither of them. Yeah, you get neither of them. Alright, I think we've been through this, so let's skip some more. Ah yes, the talk with Kenji before the festival, right? What am I going to do? I don't have any plans. In hindsight, that's really stupid. 
Okay. Maybe I should have asked the girl out. Then again, all things considered, I don't think I could have done anything like that. It's only my first week. A week that I have wasted being awkward around almost everyone, stumbling over myself trying to get the hang of this place. Oh well, I think this is actually the Kenji ending, right? The bad ending. <laughs> okay, so that means the choices I made beforehand don't really cater to win. Them. <laughs> oh well. Okay, anyway. Alright, since we're going down the Kenji route, then... Well, can the Kenji route it is. Thinking about it, what have I accomplished? Nothing. Who would I have even asked? Damn, it seems that Kenji is my only realistic option for a date today. This is the most depressing thing that has happened to me since I had a heart attack because a girl confessed her love to me. It can't be helped. I don't know really. I don't have anything, I guess. But a thought seems a bit excessive. We sure don't want to go outside. It's not that like visitors won't come to the dorms today. He looks thunderstruck by this revelation. Damn, you may have a point. This place is not safe today. We must find somewhere to hide in. He falls silent for a moment, thinking. The roof. Okay. What about it? We are going to hide off the roof on the roof for today. It's the perfect place. Nobody ever goes up there. You sure about that? Amy and Reed goes go up there, you know. Meet me there in one hour. I have to prepare. He slams the door shut and the locks click closed. Damn, what the hell is wrong with Kenji? <laughs> and to think I'm now going along with his craziness. It really makes me depressed. <laughs> I feel like a failure. Once I step outside, the dean of the crowd greets me. The whole school is bustling with activity. There are stores everywhere and the crowd swarming in between them is considerable. I didn't expect the festival would attract so many vis visitors. I have to admit that the people in charge of decorating the place put a lot of effort into it and it really shows. Uh, let me see if I have... I think I might have read this before. Uh, let's skip this. Nope. <laughs> okay. People seem to be enjoying themselves and the atmosphere is colourful, bright and happy. That is, if I weren't suddenly in such a foul mood. At the moment, it's more annoying than anything else. Well, it's, it's really depressing from the looks of this. Well, it can't be helped. I decide to stick with my original plan and eat. Then I guess I have to at least see what Kenji is up to on the roof. I do a slow circle around the grounds to kill some time, looking at the stores, but not feeling like, like playing any of the games anymore. The garish colours grind my eyes, and I feel more and more ill by the minute. I can't even decide what I want to eat, and the large selection combined with the masses of energetic festival visitors isn't helping. I just head towards the nearest store that seems to offer some way, something halfway edible and get nine. It turns out to be noodles, yakisoba. It also turns out to be not very good, okay, it's very depressing, <laughs> but at least it's nourishment. It's not like I demand anything else at this point. As I stir my disagreeable noodles, I idly wonder what the others are doing right now. Shizune and Misha are definitely somewhere organizing things. I better steer clear of them. I guess they wouldn't forgive me so easily for leaving them alone with this thing. I expect Amy to be buzzing over the place, being depressingly cheerful. There's no chance to find her, but no chance to avoid her either, so it doesn't matter. Lily will probably be helping a class with that festival event, and entirely too busy for another's company. Kanako wouldn't want to talk to anyone anyway, either keeping to herself or helping Lily. Um, that's what you think. <laughs> Rin should be tending to a mural and is probably being unhelpful to any hypo hypothetical interested parties. Going there for some peace and quiet seems like the nicest option of the above, but then again, I can't see having art forced on me raising my mood either, so I'll pass. While I was lost in thought, my food seems to have disappeared, and so has my hunger. I guess I just blocked out the experience of eating, which should be a good thing. Satiated but unsatisfied, I turn to walk towards the main school building. An hour has almost passed. Already. The crowd is even thicker in her here than it was outside. The hallways are almost unbearable, and I don't even dare to think one, what it's like inside the classrooms. I head up the stairs to my destination. The roof. 
Thankfully, the door at the top isn't locked. Uh, but now there's a handwritten sign on it. Kenji, what are you doing? Off limits? <laughs> what the hell, Kenji? <laughs> don't mind if I don't. The festival noise is surprisingly muted up here. And the rooftop looks deserted as expected. Near a place where the cyclone fence has collapsed, there is a pile of blankets that seems oddly out of place. Wait. Did that pile just move a little? What the hell is Kenji doing? <laughs> that would be strange as there is no wind at all. I carefully stick my hand out and give it an experimental prod. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Started, I jump back. Who is it? God damn it, Kenji, it's me! Oh damn, you scared me, man! So what are we doing up here? <laughs> We're having a picnic! Okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I have blankets, pretzels, and whiskey. This is the outer cellar, man. Whiskey? <laughs> Aren't you a bit too young to drink alcohol? I'm 20, you know? You're not. <laughs> I am, and so are you. What? <laughs> That's absurd. Hey, at least you get something out of it. Why get this, this bottle of whiskey? He's rambling incoherently, but I decide to play along. So why do you have a bottle of whiskey? My mom could have come visit for the festival, so she sent me some expensive single malt instead. A likely story. Want some? <laughs> it's not like I have anything to lose. This day can't possibly get worse. Let me just check what's the title of this part. Generic... Uh, no, no. The Deep End. The Deep End. That's the name of this current scene. Alright. Ah, uh, well, I have nothing to lose, why not? <laughs> we sit down on the power blankets. Kenji apparently dragged up here. He produces an almost full bottle of whiskey and passes it to me. You didn't even bring glasses? No, this is not some romantic princess picnic. What the hell, man? <laughs> this is a manly picnic. No glasses. No napkins. Whiskey only. The beverage of true man. Although I do see the glasses over here, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and pets us. I take a closer look at the bottle. 12 year old single malt whiskey, as he said. Shrugging my shoulders, I take a sweep. It burns my throat like acid, but the taste isn't unpleasant. I feel it going straight into my head, and the aftertaste lingers in the back of my mouth, craving for another sweep. We should outline our counter offensive and trash talk women here, yeah? where they can't hear us. Yeah, you can't get a date right, he sounds so complain all you like. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Damn, I forgot to bring my graphs. Graphs? I decide to play a drinking game with myself. Every time Kenji mentions female conspiracy, I'll take a swig. <laughs> Four or five hours, or possibly several days later, <laughs> I lost track. <laughs> <laughs> this is an awesome CG, man. Even though this is the bad ending. <laughs> look at his song. Well, both of them look like... I don't know, they look like bros. <laughs> you shouldn't feel bad, man. He's the fuck up. Seriously, seriously. I'm relaxed, goddammit. I'm telling as I said. Think about it. When did housing events start becoming more and more expensive? When women began entering the workforce? Because it's created two income new crap families. <laughs> yeah, I forgot my graphs, but. And you just have to take my word for it. Women are connected to the decay of our society. I see. That is kind of hard to believe. Even if I say that, somehow, everything Kenji says seems to make more sense now. Especially when you're drunk, he saw. Yeah, it definitely makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it all fits together, but I don't know if it's because he can explain things more clearly when drunk, or because I can understand everything better when drunk. No man, think, think! Think of the deeper implications! People go to the pot to say, start saying, Oh well, since two members of the family are now earning money as opposed to one, they can surely afford something like rising cost of ownership. I see your point. But land in Japan has always been expensive. And the price of land generally goes up when the country starts undergoing industrialization. But no! 
It's because of women. Correlation equals causation, you know? Yes, but... Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't even want to explain it. <laughs> I thought correlation didn't equal causation. Well, well, whatever, maybe you're right. I'm always right. Yeah, I bet women created industrialization too, to cover their tracks. How diabolical. Oh yeah, everyone can go fuck themselves. <laughs> he stands up, impressing me because I'm fairly sure I couldn't even if I wanted. He yells extremely loudly as if he's lost the concept of volume. I wince and almost want to cover my ears. Oh, all the way up to night time even. Ah, how nice it would have been if I could have been down there. But no, you see, thinking like that is a trap. You think you're missing out on something? By the end of that road, there's nothing but despair. That's because you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> well, that goes the same for his out here. Kenji snatches back the bottle and leans back his head. Tempting to pour the alcohol into his mouth, but just ends up drenching himself in it. This is so depressing, seriously. <laughs> Damn it! See? My hair is terrible! And the bad thing about drinking is that you only get to us the longer you go. Today is the day of despair. And we shall revolt! We shall... You know? We shall not marry anymore! <laughs> His voice immediately drops to almost a whisper. But he starts talking much faster than before. Slightly slurring his words from the whiskey. As he talks, he waves the bottle around, spilling some of it here and there. Yeah, you know what was the most shocking event of my life? I have a hazy recollection of him telling about the second most shocking event in his life, which was a bird pooping on his head. I don't have particularly great expectations of this, but I nod at him to continue anyway. You wouldn't think it, but I had a girlfriend here once. I think it was last year. Oh, good to know. Yeah, I just blew your mind, huh? See, I have never told that to anyone. It's true. The thought does blow my mind. Suddenly, I want the bottle. I take it from Kenji and knock back as much as I can. I was more innocent back then, and I thought she was sane, unlike most women. And then one day, we engaged in sexual intercourse. Oh my god. It was pretty okay, but then immediately following the event, that is the point of all such things. Something strange and scary happened. Hmm. He throws himself up against the fence, leaning on it. His eyes narrowed. Hey, please don't let me pity Kenji now. <laughs> I started feeling incredibly tired and sleepy. This is normal, man. What the fuck? I mean, normally that would be a high tension, agonally pumping moment of anyone's life, but my energy levels are dropping like a brick. Something sinister was the works, I could feel it. That is when I knew that women are dangerous. Shaping the life force of one man through the one commodity that is almost solely theirs to control. Sickening. Yeah, you're better off, dude. Kenji was right. No. This really is the day of despair. I drink more to avoid having to process what he just said. Now I am the last sane man here in this sane world. When other people realize it, there will be a war. A great war between men and the forces of feminism. But the problem is that not all men will fight on my side. Shit sucks. I could set the bar right behind the low, any men are fine. But not the dudes raised by their mom or their sister, that's for sure. But what about you, though? <laughs> Don't you have a mom or sister? And normally to take your pawn. Um, I don't even know where this is going now. <laughs> Crap, man. <sighs> that situation seems unlikely to me. Like, it wouldn't happen. Like, it's not very likely to happen. The alcohol must be working. Regardless, I still feel depressed that I'm up here today. I wasn't really looking forward to the festival with the same excitement as the rest of the school, but still, it would have been nice to have gone with someone. From up here, it certainly sounded like everyone's having fun. Maybe I am missing out. Yeah, you are. It's just that there was no one I could have gone with. Or maybe there was. So many opportunities, looking back on it now, and I must have squandered so many of them. Damn, this is true despair. The worst part is that sometimes I feel like I have no choices in my life, you know? Like I never have a chance to make a decision. Shit just happens. Like it was all pre-programmed. Like fate. Or something. Like there is no way I can ever say what I do. Quick, ask me a question! Uh... Now! Can't really... See? This is just another example of it. Damn shit, damn! Do you see? 
Now, when I'm trying to go and use my destiny and take charge of my life, the opportunity isn't even there. Damn, man, you have failed me. Failed me for the last time. Jerk. Um, so now I'm going to be all alone. <laughs> um, okay, he collapsed. Alright. Way to go. <laughs> he slides to his knees and then falls over his side, lying on the grave of the roof. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I <laughs> should see I'm in despair. <laughs> He's speaking a sarcastic tone. Suddenly, Kenji sits up, clumsily pats himself clean, and puts his hand out towards me to reach for the bottle. I put it in his hand. Where the hell? Damn, you killed almost the entire bottle. See, it's like I have no options in life. Is this how it's going to be for the rest of time? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like that for the rest of time. Whatever he's talking about, my head is spinning. I get up and lean against the fence, hoping it'll help me focus a little. Yeah, I know. We have to fight the power with all we got. It's the only way to live. Yeah, and alright, die. This brotherly bond is what keeps me going in these dark times. I don't even know when this brotherly bond even came about, but whatever. We should go trolling, woman. Rolling woman? <laughs> what? Trolling woman. Trolling for woman. But we have to do it now before I lose this alcohol related courage. He's gesturing wildly, madly even. I take a step backward. He takes a step forward. What's the matter with you? Not in the mood for love? No, I'm not gay. To be frank, no. I take another step backward. He takes another step forward. Get out of my sight, Kenji. <laughs> he leans in extremely uncomfortably close. What the hell? Stop leaning in like that. It bothers me. Leaning like what? Hey, you shouldn't lean against the fence like that. It's kind of unsafe. Oh my god. The last thing I want to know is, you know, he's suddenly falling and then... <laughs> That's really bad ending. I try to move away from Kenji, but my balance isn't so good. Reeling from the dizziness, I grab at one of the fence posts, but then feel it give way as soon as I put my weight on it. Oh my god, seriously. This isn't good. Though my alcohol-added brain doesn't seem to be quite capable of registering why. Kenji's face seems to be becoming smaller though, which is a bit of a relief. Oh my god, much smaller in fact. Apparently <laughs> so. Seriously! Man, this is tragic, man. <laughs> oh my god! There seems to be a bit of wind now. Somehow it makes me feel almost weightless. Oh my god! Oh no! I feel dazed, like my mind has gone blank. I am... falling. I can see the night sky as I turn over in the air. The bottle floats out of my fingertips and disappears into thin air as I fall. I realize that this is the fitting end to a truly, truly bad day. Well... <laughs> this has taken... a turn for the worse. <laughs> <laughs> what the freaking hell, man? <laughs> man, why do I even play this 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 route, man? Like seriously, this is bullshit, man. <laughs> I have no words, man. Why did I even play? This route. Well, actually, I wanted to play the Rin route, but well, I didn't expect that, you know, because I thought that that choice that I made in the beginning of this video, you know, would lead to Rin, but uh, well, apparently not. And actually, it was still okay and all that until this thing suddenly happened. I fell off, you know, the the fence. Of course, I kind of predicted that I would fall down, and but I didn't really expect it. Respect, he started to really fall down. Shit! <laughs> Fish, man! Oh well. Let's just forget this episode even happened. But it will be, well, episode 61. <laughs> okay, so now, since that clearly was the wrong choice, 
Now I'm seriously clueless as to how to get to Rin's Root. Hmm. Actually, Rin's Root is probably the one that I'm haven't really figured out how to get to yet. You know, I figured out Amy, you know, uh, Lily and and uh, Hanako, but Rin not yet. So kind of you know tempting whether I should you know refer to the walkthrough. I probably should. So I think I'll have to. Stop here for now, and then hopefully the next episode will definitely be Vince Fruit. So don't you all worry. I'm going to figure things out, and I'm going to see you again in the next video where it will be Vince Fruit proper. So <laughs> till next time.